Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use swatches in Adobe Illustrator and how to save swatches. So what we'll do now is that we will click on window and then we are going to click on swatches. So once you click on it you should see the swatches panel and these are the colors or the main colors that are included in the swatches but you can use some other colors and some other color libraries. So let's say that we are going to have some flowers. So let me just create a shape here. All right, so let me just add a triangle here and let me change this side. Let me just make this one rounded about 889 and this one too, so 889. So now let's say that we want to use some colors on this shape so if you want to use some other colors other than these what you do is that you click on this little library here so one click on it and it should see all of these colors so for example I'm going to go with nature and then I'm going to click on flowers so it will show me another panel and you see that these are the colors of flowers so what I can do is basically if I want to add these colors to my swatches, what I could do is, you know, I can basically drag this and drop it in my swatches. So you see I added these colors and I'm going to add these ones to there. So I have my swatches there and I have added some colors. So now we don't need this window anymore. So I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to, you know, expand my swatches panel. All right. So right now I can click on a color. So you see I'm changing the colors to those colors that we selected and we have imported to our swatches from that specific library. So now let's say I want to rotate it. So I'm going to simply rotate this. Oops. What did I do? Just one second. So click. Right. So control D I have a flower like shape so right now I'm gonna leave this one here all right so now let's say that I want to you know add more colors to my swatches what I can do is I can go back to my library and then I can go to fruits for example let's click on fruits so these are the fruit colors that you can use so basically what you can do is you can drag and drop a color palette from the fruit panel to your swatches and once you're happy with it so right now let me just close this fruit panel and this flower panel but before I close the flower panel I would like to tell you that you'll be able to change the colors by clicking on this little thing and it will go to the previous library. So these are the libraries and I'm just clicking. But you see it says, it shows you the name of the library. And uh, yeah, you can use these color pa uh, palettes. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to close this stone break. All right. So let's say that I want to save this panel. So now if I close this and if I save it, it will probably not save my swatches but to save the swatch what you do is that you click on this uh, swatch library menu again and go to save swatches so now I can save it on desktop for example and I have already a file here so I'll just overwrite that file and it says my swatches.ii so if I click on it and if I just save it so now I'll be ready to close the AI all right so now you see we will have to save Adobe Illustrator document. So now it's telling me that hey we have made some changes. Do you want to save this document? So I'm going to click on yes and click on yes. So now if I just open my swatches again. So I'm going to open that file. So let's wait for it to be loaded and it might take some time to load. So you see that we have our design here and we also have the swatches. All right. So this is basically it uh, how you can, you know, use a swatch and import colors to the swatches and 
Alright, so I think this is it for today. So what we learned today is how to use the swatches panel and how to import color palettes from other libraries. Alright, so I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next videos.